So you have a whole cow print outfit and jacket Ready and everything, don't you? Yes, from Altered State. I have a hat and I got cow pants. Would you have thought that suit. at Cabela's you would have found matching shoes to your Altered State outfit? No, I wasn't planning on coming here. <laughs> Look at these shoes. And they are on sale. Twenty-four yeah, seventy-seven. I got big feet, but I'm gonna wear some. Well, they're gonna look awesome with your with your outfit. They're gonna look awesome. Do you they don't match your workout pants so much, but no. they're gonna look great in your outfit. You never know. I start a new style. Never know what you're gonna find on a Saturday afternoon at Cabela's, right? So, zombie apocalypse. What weapon would you have, Jack? Probably a machete. Machete. Just because yeah. it's got leverage. That's a nice machete. I mean, you could definitely take a zombie's head off with that. I mean, what is or that? Twenty-seven off. bucks. Tom off. Yeah, you know, my... It's too close, you know. Yeah, my weapon of choice would be a battle axe. I don't see any battle axes here. I would definitely choose like a battle two, axe, two though. Tomahawk, tomahawks. <laughs> Throwing tomahawks at zombies. I kind of want these. These are sick. They're like snowshoes? snowshoes. Let, let's really hope that we don't need snowshoes this year. Yeah, How about that? they cool. <laughs> they are kind of cool, though, aren't they? So that's a pretty good-sized axe. Not necessarily a battle axe, but $75. Why does an axe cost so much more than a machete? So you can get three machetes for the cost of this battle axe. Yeah, I would just buy three machetes instead of this. How awesome is this? A remote control gator head. They even got a bat. Yeah, Th this would be so fun. Someone swimming in the lake and you could take the gator head over to him. <laughs> yeah, for sure, three machetes because one in each hand and then one on the back, like as a backup. Yeah, totally the way to go. So, if the zombies come, three machetes. Let's get our money's worth. Hey everybody, it's Jack and Betty. What's up guys? We ended up coming to Cabela's. We are looking for floral carbon fishing line. A lot of people in the comments of some of our videos have recommended it, right? They said it's the clearest of all, and then we're since since we're thinking about rescaping the 220 gallon, we're thinking it would be neat to use but you a can't line. See it all. Like it's transparent to move with the water. Apparently so. And it's not that expensive, so we're going to look around. We're going to see if we can get some help. But while we're here, we want to show you guys this aquarium. This is a 60,000-gallon aquarium here at Cabela's. This is in Avon, near the Cleveland area. Of course, if you, you may have a Cabela's near you. But uh, this is an unbelievably massive tank. How thick do you think this glass is? You've got on top, and you said it's about four inches thick. And these are all native fish. So this is a sporting goods store. So it's carp, catfish, yeah, crappie. So we're gonna turn this around, we're gonna show some close up here, get rid of this reflection a little bit, show you some of the native fish from our area and that they have in this tank. I found this guy, Jimmy, he's a big help. Yeah, hey Jimmy, how's it going, buddy? Doing good, you? Say, say hi to YouTube, man. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy works here at Cabela's and he recommended this uh, floral carbon. So this was a really popular one. There was only like one left on the shelf, so that's mm -hmm. really cool. This is a suffix 100% floral carbon and um, it's about 20 bucks. It's a 20 pound test. And it's um, 33 yards, which is more than enough for what we need it for, right, kiddo? Yes. So thanks for the recommendation, man. We're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do a little tour of the store here because Cabela's obviously a really neat place. Oh, yeah. They have a 60,000 gallon aquarium here, don't they? Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Do you have any idea? We looked it up. We couldn't find how much that thing cost to build. Do you have any idea, Jimmy? I do not. I have not. Several thousands, I would assume. So hundreds of thousands, oh, yeah. probably, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go over there and check that out. Thanks so much for your help, Jimmy. Hey, anybody that lives near the Cleveland area, this this is actually, what, Avon Lake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Avon Lake area. If you need help, come to Cabela's. Ask Jimmy. He's going to show you what's going on in the fishing department, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, dude. So obviously, they make this a whole entire scene. So it goes all the way up to the ceiling with a mural, and then it comes all the way down. And, of course, there are, yeah, all kind of animals that are you know, kind of up here. And then as you come along this side, obviously there's the tank off the waterfall. And then obviously then this side, there's even more that comes over here. And we'll get some close-ups when these folks move out of the way of some of these fish, see if we can get past some of this reflection. Obviously reflection's kind of bad because it's directly across from the opening of the door. And then of course that light's coming in. What do you got there, man? Oh, look, you got a big, huge Nemo. Let's just give you an idea how big this front glass is. I mean. Look at how tall this is, man. Look at this guy right here. He's looking right at us. Hey, buddy. There are some giant fish in here. And again, these are all kind of native fish. Look at this guy right here. Beautiful, beautiful what fish. Yeah, a lot of them are kind of hiding in the back. I'm going to try to get close to the glass. It doesn't look very big from... Uh, it doesn't look like 60,000 gallons, but you don't realize how deep it is. Yeah. It's a massive tank. I mean, obviously there are... <coughs> wood and rocks and plants. I'm gonna try to come over here on this side. 
you see, show some of these guys on the bottom too. Look at these guys kind of hiding down here. But anyway, it's a gigantic tank and it's a beautiful scene when you walk in. Um, looks like there's some sunfish and bluegill and all kind of different native fish in here. Different colors, different things. What an amazing scape though. And I really like the idea that it's like a huge waterfall that comes down. I mean, this is a massive, unbelievable professional job. We got the floral carbon, $15. It was actually on sale. So this is gonna be really awesome at holding up our avatar rocks when because we're gonna be adding more of those. It looks pretty clear to be honest. Like it's transparent. Apparently it's totally clear to water. We're, we're gonna definitely put that to the test when we start doing it. The lava rocks that we're hanging are anywhere from five to ten pounds. This is a 20-pound test. And we might loop it around twice. We're not sure if you can't see it. We might put it around twice just to make sure. But really, really awesome. So we're gonna be rescaping that soon. And the whole reason we came here to get that, of course, was for that. But then Pamela found some fun stuff. Got your shoes too, didn't you? In the trunk. Got I, your shoes. Got cow shoes. Yeah, totally awesome. Unexpected <laughs> sale, 25 bucks. All right, here we are back at home, guys. Just wanted to show the folks that maybe have not seen um, this tank, this one of our aquariums here. This is uh, the reason that we were getting this. Of course, these big avatar rocks we have hanging in this tank, just one of the many designs that we kind of mess around with. Obviously, for the video, you really can't see that line very much, and there is a glare because it's the middle of the day and stuff like that, but ultimately, that's why we got this line. Um, this is supposed to be a lot more clear than other fishing line. A lot of people gave us this as a recommendation. Jimmy was super helpful at Cabela's over there. Thanks again, Jimmy. Very, very, very cool. We are going to be rescaping this a little bit more. Again, you have to remember, even though these lava rocks are huge, they don't weigh very much, do they? No, they, they don't. How much does it say that supports? 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds. These things probably only weigh a fourth of that, if that. So even though they look large, they're porous, they don't you know, hold a lot of weight. You can see right behind me here in this one, the Cynodonis catfish is in there. The, the fish really do seem to love these, don't they? Yeah, they do. They hang out in these, they clean them Especially off. Especially the plecos, they like to just sit on the, the wider kind of area. Yeah, they go on the top. So anyway, super cool. We're gonna be redesigning and rescaping this tank. We've been wanting to for a long time. Just got a lot of projects and stuff going on. Anyway, that's what this line was for. Stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notified because ultimately we're gonna be rescaping this and you don't wanna miss that in the future, do they? No. All right, guys, well, there they go. Say bye, Brutus, there's Brutus. Say bye, buddy. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Look at these smart birdhouses. So if a squirrel steps on the thing, the seed shield gets activated and closes. That's kind of funny. That's pretty smart. Let's see if it works. No, that one doesn't work. Let's try this one. I think maybe it's already closed. Oh, so they fall off and then it closes? I don't know. Maybe it's out of batteries or... Oh, it's this. These whatever. These things. 45 bucks. I don't know. It's cute. Yeah. It's fancy.